Hello, friends. All right, today we're going to show you how to connect your accounts. When you connect, once you're whitelisted and during the whitelist process, it asks you to connect your Discord and your Steam. So what you're going to do is on the top right, you're going to hit this little avatar thing of yours. You're going to click there. You're going to go to connected accounts. You're going to hit connect Steam. You're going to go through the process to connect your Steam and you're going to hit connect Discord. You're going to go through the process to connect your Discord. Make sure that whatever you're connected to or you're logged in as on your browser is what it's going to connect for Steam and Discord. So if you're logged into a second account like I am right now, I'm logged into my second account that I use for not really anything. It's just for this purpose. But I connected that account to this. So my second account is connected to my Discord or to my profile. And my Steam is connected to my form account, which you need both of them connected, right? Once that's all done, your application is accepted. You go through that whole process. Connect your TeamSpeak. To connect to TeamSpeak, you have to go here and you hit sync and you get your UID. To get your UID, you're going to go, you're gonna go right here going to go to identities and you're going to go to test or mine is test but you're going to have it set to default this is your uid right here so you're going to copy paste friendly name chad because that's my account name okay cannot be found in the TeamSpeak database. Please, ins please ensure that you have connected TeamSpeak server with this unique ID at least once, all right? So that issue, you're gonna go like, okay, all right, I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna make sure that I'm set to my test account, which I am gonna connect to the TeamSpeak, all right? And the team, when you're connected to TeamSpeak, it is TS period wild west RP dot com all right there's no server password you set your nickname this should be your character name my test account character name is chad all right so i have it set to chad just to show you guys but make sure it's your character name so if it's billy bob put billy bob all right you're gonna go connect all right you're gonna get your identity which is right here again my security level is currently eight. We request a level 25 security level. So you're going to hit start, let it do its thing. And it's going to get its security level up to 25. When it gets up to 25, it will be done. All right. And there you go. It is connected. Now that you're connected, you can go back here, hit sync. There you go. And it syncs your account to the TeamSpeak, which is what we asked for. Now you're able to see everything that you need to see. You can join different channels. You can go all over. I can't go up here. Oh, I can wait for mod. I can wait for support. I can use the rooms that are obligated. And when you get into the server, whenever you're in the server, you want to be in server waiting room when you're logging in. And then once you're in the server, it'll put you into server one. of how to install Red Hat. It doesn't matter where you're launching the game from, whether it's a Rockstar launcher or Steam, it doesn't matter. You have to make sure that the Steam is linked. Once you do that, it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes for the whitelist to update. So just wait 15 to 20 minutes after you do that for it to update. When you're launching Red M to get into the server, make sure you have the Rockstar launcher open and Steam open. Both of those have to be open, Steam for verification, and Rockstar Launcher for the game itself. All right. And I uninstalled Red M completely to show you guys the way to install it. You're going to basically have the exe that you downloaded from their website. You're going to go to redm.gg. All 
That's the website right there. Redum.gg. It's going to do its thing. It's going to update whatever. It's going to be select the folder containing Red Dead Redemption 2.exe. So you're not going to select the exe itself. I don't even know if you can, but you're going to go find wherever you installed Redm. Or not Red M, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Most of you, if you haven't selected, it'll be somewhere in your C drive. You're going to go to your C drive. I'm assuming it's the X86 or X whatever it is. I don't know if it's any different for you. I'm assuming it's going to be in Rockstar Games folder. If not, it's going to be anywhere else that you installed it. So for me, it's going to be over here in my games folder on my new SSD that I have there. And I'm going to select this folder where it says Red Red Redemption 2. You're not going to select in here. You're just going to select the Red Dead Redemption 2 folder itself and hit select folder. And then it's going to do its thing. All right. And then this is going to pop up. It says the local Red M game cache is outdated. It needs to be updated. So copy, blah, 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 blah. You're just going to hit, do you, it's going to ask you, do you wish to continue? You're going to hit yes, because you need to do this for it to function. And then there you go. It's done. It took me forever to download the cache this time around since I deleted everything to show you guys. But that's it. I have Rockstar open. Rockstar is open. My Steam is open. And you launch.